What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I have my March TBR. I'm only going to be participating in one readathon this month, which is the Queer Weekend hosted by Kathy and Rogan. I'll have all the links down below if you want to know more about that readathon. The word queer is being blocked on YouTube, so if you are going to comment about the readathon, try not to use that if you want me to see your comment. I'll leave Kathy's video down below. She's the one who brought this to light because all of her comments that have the word queer in them are being deleted, and that video was last year and it's still happening. So I just wanted to point that out in case you do want to talk about the readathon with me in the comments. Put the acronym QLW and I will be able to talk to you about the readathon. So I just wanted to mention that before I got started. The readathon is happening from the 27th to the 28th so I'll talk about that at the end of this video. This month I'm dedicating to reading my spring arcs. There are several coming out this month and there's others that I want to read before the release date so that I can review them and talk about them if I enjoy them and you can find a new recommendation and so I'll also be talking about those in this video and I think that's it. My reading plans are really chaotic this month so I'm not going to be participating in the Buzz Wordathon. This month the word is time and I just don't have the time to participate. So I'm just gonna get into the video, talk about my arcs, and let's get started. So first I'm gonna talk about the books that I'm planning to read for videos. For my secret TBR this month I'll be reading Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, so if you want to guess what the theme is feel free to do that in the comments. For Patreon I'll be reading Ever Lost by Neil Schusterman for my series where I read my childhood books required reads edition. I read this in ninth grade so if you would like to see those videos head over to my Patreon and become a paperback pal for only one dollar. Now to my reading plans that don't involve videos. I'm going to be rereading Sheets by Brenna Thumler. This was my favorite graphic novel of last year and the sequel Delicates comes out this month so I will be reading that in anticipation so I can review both and I just want a refresher so I will be reading that. I will leave all the publication dates on the screen so that you can add these if you haven't heard of them or you just need a reminder of when these come out. Next I'm currently reading Can't Take That Away by Steven Salvador which comes out on March 9th and I was sent this from Bloomsbury so thank you so much to them for sending me this. This is an own voices novel about a genderqueer teen named Carrie who auditions for the role of Elphaba in their school's production of Wicked. I will leave my friend's reviews down below. R and Audrey both reviewed this and they've both said that this is not marketed correctly. It is a dark book. It is not a happy book so definitely going to be going into that while I'm reading it but I am enjoying it. I'm really loving the writing so far and can't wait to read more of it and form my own conclusion. Next coming out on March 30th is Breathing Underwater by Sarah Allen. This is a middle grade about mental health. I read the author's debut novel last year which was what stars are made of and this is about Turner syndrome and it was own voices. I am excited to read this. It is about a girl learning about her sister's depression as they go on a road trip. I think it is so important to be talking about mental health in middle grade so I am excited to read this one. And another book coming out on March 9th is Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. She wrote Only Mostly Devastated, one of my favorite books, and I can't wait to read this one. This is about a bisexual girl named Darcy who gives anonymous love advice to her classmates and is hired by the hot guy to help him get his ex back. And it is pitched as Leah on the offbeat meets To All the Boys I Loved Before and anything comped with To All the Boys I Loved Before I will read and I really enjoyed Sophie's debut novel so I'm excited to read this and get around to it before the release date or after. I don't know. My reading plans are chaotic so I'll get around to it this month. I'm excited to read it because I really enjoy her writing and I'm just excited to read another book by her. The next arc I have is The Passing Playbook by Isaac Fitzsimmons. I have been waiting for this book since I heard about it. It's been years and me and Audrey both have an arc of it so we're gonna buddy read it together. I'm really excited. This is a trans sports story about a 15 year old boy named Spencer. He's going stealth at his new school and he ends up getting a spot on the soccer team but when a discriminatory law forces him to be benched he has to make a hard decision 
of either coming out or just facing the consequences and I am just so excited. I advocate for trans people in sports so much. I'm writing my own trans sports story so I'm excited to read more. I'm just excited that they're coming and I can't wait to read this with all three. And the last arc I would like to get to I receive through Libro FM. I receive ALCs through Libro FM's influencer program so I have a couple lined up for this month but the one I'm most excited about is Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. This is Aiden's sophomore novel but it was their first book that they've ever pitched. It is a Peter Pan retelling. I am just so excited to read this. This comes out on March 23rd. I let out an audible gasp when I logged on to the site and I saw my arcs for the month. I am just so excited to read this. I am going to have a really good month of arcs and now let's move on to the books I'm going to be reading for the queer weekend. The first book is a middle grade. This is Me, My Dad, and the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. It just came out. I saw this on Gavin's channel. He was talking about it and he also has an interview with the author which I'll link down below. This is only available in the UK as of now so I did have to go through a book depository to get this. This is about a boy named Archie whose dad comes out as gay and it changes his family and it is about him going to his first pride festival. This sounds so good and Gavin has been hyping it up so much that I just have to read it. I read middle grade pretty quickly so that's why I chose it for the queer weekend and I wanted to just get around to it ASAP because it just came out last month. Next I have Upside Down by N.R. Walker which is a book about asexuality. It has asexual characters and I have seen it recommended a lot on Bookstagram by ace reviewers that I follow. So I would like to get around to that if I can and I also have a graphic novel which was recommended by my friend R and this is the Backstagers. They said that it is all about theater. Give me a theater book and I'll read it. I talk about this in my Things I Love in Books video which is up here if you haven't seen it. I talk all about the things I love in books in that video and talk about how much I love theater books and give some recommendations. So that is it for my long ass March TBR. Let me know what you're going to be reading and if you're participating in the queer weekend just don't put the word queer because YouTube is homophobic. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there for only one dollar. I'm so close to hitting my goal of the year. So if you'd like to become the 10th patron and join us and watch me read Everlost as well as some of my other childhood books and receive receive some exclusive content wrap ups go head over to my patreon and become a paperback pal for only one dollar that is it for me today thank you all for watching i hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and i will see you next time bye